Hey, I opened the door. Huh. It's a book. Oh, hey, look, a lever. Sick. And more lore. They are traitors, all of them. They are all after my crown. I cannot trust anyone anymore. I'm aware that I have been weakened since I am left with no heirs. My remaining attempts are these two treacherous and unreliable daughters of mine. Unless my wife gifted me. Even my attempts were these meaningless damsels were fruitless. Oh, this voice hurts. They uh, left me with dead bastard sons and utterly worthless healthy girls. The ones who kept living I threw into my arena. That way I still had a little entertainment seeing them perish in their hopeless frightened light to survive. The only person I can still put my faith in is my trustful king's god, but I see a distance growing between us. I hope I can keep a uh, band strong since I cannot survive another knife in my back. There are one already dozens sticking out and it pushes me to the, take matters into my own hands again. My court jester gave me the perfect opportunity and preparations are being made. Within a month, when the red moon is seen in the sky, we will execute his ritual and the future we will be facing will be bright and promising. Huh. What treasure? Can they interact with me? Of right. course not. So I take it that the way this is like setting it up, it's supposed to be like only one of us is supposed to be able to go up the fucking elevator, right? Hey, did you notice the blood on the floor? No. No. Oh. Where's the blood on the floor? When you walked in. Hey, look at that. Weird. But I'm pretty sure, because the way this works is we already almost got two of us going up the goddamn elevator. We can totally both escape. Yeah. We said to think about it, we're gonna do it. Uh. One goes down, or one goes up. So, uh, 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 Okay, you go up. Alright. Did you That's, push it? Yeah. Okay. There's the other oh hey, he's right there. Spooky. Well, that's none of your business. I don't know if you understood what he said. I barely understood what he said. Sometimes he's something you he's guys like, are pissing me off. He's like, you guys are doing quite well, and sometimes that pisses me off. And I'm like, okay, but I don't care. Alright, uh, can you send the elevator down? Uh... Oh shit. Are you in it? Yeah. Dork. <laughs> Alright, because I hit the down button, that's why. I didn't know you were still in it. For a second, I thought you were the ghost. No, nah, that'd be crazy. Alright, hit the button, button again. Alright. Uh. That's okay. These the symbols are the ones that I put on the door. Oh shit, there's another switch. Where? It's on top. Hold on. Hey. I gotta climb the elevator up a little bit more. Shit. Alright, don't get on the elevator. Oh wait, did you get on the elevator? Yeah, I jumped up already. Okay. Alright, I pulled the switch Wait. though. Okay. Let me hit down. Yep. All right. You're on top of the elevator? <clears throat> no, I am. <laughs> okay. Well, be sure to hit that switch. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Yep. Yeah. All right, now let me hit the up button. Ah. Okay. There you go. I forgot the weight distribution. And then I'll just hop up first, and then I guess you can go back up and down? I mean, I seriously don't think that missing, like, random light switches that we have to set every time we die is gonna make it so we can't beat the game. Well, just to let you know, I do know how one of us can get out. But I'm guessing we have to hit all the switches for both of us to get out. Yeah, but we can't even get the gate open. Uh, what do you think this wheel is for? Is that what it does? This opens the gate. 
Oh. Which is how we're, which is how both of us are supposed to leave. Oh, so yeah, then the stupid light switches might be for like the true ending or whatever. Yeah. Which in that case is really stupid because those are totally miserable. Yeah. Now, who wants to go? Well, I left last time, so you can leave this time. Fine, I guess. We'll go. We'll do this. All right, Danny. Goodbye, friend. Both. <laughs> <laughs> you bitch. Imagine. <laughs> no. Fuck us both. Woo! You, I would have been like, you fucking tool. That'd be funny. Man, that sucks. Yeah, that's pretty dumb. Alright. Uh. Yeah. When you pull the lever, it opens. Well, this is... You open that gate right now. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Alright, well, this is goodbye, friend. Alright. Well, at least that's a lot better than the fucking uh, one from the last game, where it's just like, yeah, just flip a bunch of random switches a whole bunch for no reason. Yeah. How do I get up there? Again, you can fit through the gate. Yeah. Tell my wife I said hello. And then tell my mistress that I loved her more than my wife. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, that was pretty fun. I definitely think it's really dumb how you can't get the good ending like on your first run for sure. Cause it, like, we like saw, nobody knows. We saw all the light switches and like, yeah. Like I was like, hey, I don't know what this is, but I'll turn it anyway. Cause I didn't even realize that it was doing anything. I yeah, thought, me neither. And I was just like, huh. And then it wasn't until like halfway through where I was like, are we supposed to be getting all of these? Cause they reset when we die. Yeah, that's what I figured. And then when we got to the end, I was wait, like, wait, 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 wait. So you pulled the first switch? Yeah. But we died. So... We also apparently didn't get the last switch either. Huh. So we missed two switches, and I don't think that the where they are on the little grid thing means anything. So well, like, the game doesn't even tell you which ones you missed. Wait, 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 wait. Did we fail the first one? Mm, I don't think so, but I'm pretty sure we hit all the switches. Weird. I mean, I'm pretty sure I hit the first switch. Well, yeah, because I was like, I didn't see a switch. If there's any one that we missed, it would have been like on that third room where I had to do the dice puzzles. Because we died. No, because like I, 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 I hit the switch on that one every time. Yeah, but I also that's... had a switch, and I'm pretty sure I might have forgotten to hit it. Like, if I forgot oh. any one, I would have forgot that one. Mm -hmm. And we missed two, so there's another one that we probably missed. I mean, we could try go back and doing it again, but I don't know if you'd want to do that. Eh. Did you care to see it? I am curious, but curious. not enough to force somebody to play. Because yeah, it would literally just be going through the game again. But see, now we know what we're doing. Yeah, I guess now we do know the answer to the puzzles. Somewhat. Oh my god. I was, I was like thinking out like with the whole maze. I'm like, I wonder if our fans are really frustrated with us right now. <laughs> They're gonna be mad at me. You're the one who's like, I'm gonna take like random ass turns. That's what I said. I was like, they're gonna be really mad at me. <laughs> one of my, one of my, my second episode in here, and I'm already proving my self worth. This is like rough. This is like a rough one to start off with. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Alright, how about it's a shame this? We don't have a cap Ooh, I should buy a capture card. That'd probably be a good idea. That way I, we I can uh play some some of the new games coming out on the Nintendo Switch. Wait, actually, I don't think I can do that. I'm pretty sure we had, we'll get taken down because we don't have that thing with Nintendo. That's true. Look, it's, we were here too, it was a pretty cool game. It's pretty fun with friends. The only thing that's kinda shitty is that it's like seven bucks right now on sale. Yeah, I feel like the it... game should be like four. Sell it for ten, but you get two copies. 
That that makes sense, actually. Yeah, because playing with strangers sucks. Let's be real. That's, and also, sometimes they could mess around and not want to do anything. Yeah, for sure. I'm 100% sure trolls exist. Uh, the problem with this is it doesn't have replay value, really. Re yeah. It's just, like, the only time you'd play it three times is... The first two times is so you can switch sides and get different achievements. Yeah, so that's maybe four and then, hours. Yeah, and then the last uh, time you play it was for when you want both of you to leave. Yeah. That would be about it. And then you, like, literally never play the game again unless you want to, like, uh, do share play with your friends and watch them yeah, I was get saying, as frustrated. The only thing I can think of is since we both have a copy, we can have our friends who have Steam shared to us play it using our version or like our copy yeah and we tell them to make sure to get all the fucking light switches that's true but then yeah 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 i think tying your true ending to fucking collectibles even if they are only 12 of them in the game is really dumb because if you think about it like this if you're playing with a stranger you can be like hey make sure to find your light switch and they can be like my what <laughs> and then just be like oh, okay yeah whatever and then like they keep going and then, cool, I can't get the real ending now because this stranger didn't fucking go get his light switch after we died. I like the game. I think it's vi I think for how much it's worth, I think visually it's pretty good. Yeah, this one's a lot prettier than the last game. That's for sure. Now, would I buy We Were Here Together? E yes, actually, I would. I don't know if I'd buy it for like 10 bucks, though. That's, yeah, that's true. When it comes out, I probably will get it, just because at this point now, we're going to have both games now on the channel, and it yeah. kind of feels like we have to do the third one. You're obligated. Yeah, I feel kind of obligated now. And well, they even know, like, the jester's on the fucking thing this time. Look at that shit. Yeah. They know. They know he's the scariest part of this fight. He didn't even do anything in this game. He just popped up and was there. Menacing. Yeah, I'm, unlike the first one, where I'm like, Jesus Christ. The first game, but in this engine... Yeah. And this one, and I'd pay like 15 bucks for that. So, yeah, sell it in a bundle. Yeah. 30 bucks, you get uh, two copies of both. Fair enough. Yeah, I, I think my favorite puzzle out of all of these is the one where we were playing, where I had to tell you what to do, but there were some things I see that you can't see on that not chessboard. Yeah, yeah, that chessboard, I think that was like the best out of like all of, of both of the game's puzzles. Yeah, because one is literally just telling what to do, and then you do it. But, unlike, but the other one other is, is... We're both doing things, and we both see things that are different, and yeah. we're both working together to do the same puzzle. Yeah, but we're both giving information that we don't, that each other don't have. At the and same time, not... in a version of the game, like, of that little, like, movement puzzle thing. Y yeah, and it's it was... not just, okay, I see this and this. Yeah, it wasn't me describing the 13th different sigil to you. <laughs> yeah. I I think my least favorite puzzle out of all of them was the... <laughs> yeah, like the, the second one where it's just the sigil? The, yeah. That one was kind of <laughs> stupid because it was literally just mix and match the fucking shapes. Oh my god, that was funny. Like, honestly, maybe if these... I know some of them did, but maybe if these puzzles had some lore to them... There's like a little bit of lore, but like it's yeah. it's really like random and it doesn't really tie into the, like the first game had no lore. It at was least, just at least not go. that we found. Yeah. And it really weirded me out how there was a generator in the first one. <laughs> yeah, there's just like, like a random power generator. And I'm like, what? This one kind of has like magic stuff, which I guess is fine. I guess that's more acceptable than just a eight like a fucking 14th century fucking power generator. <laughs> <laughs> yeah like in this one there, I guess there's also light switches but those look added after the fact yeah the light switches yeah and then the theater just made no sense to me cause well actually they, they had actually, ancient yeah. theaters but they didn't look like that they had light switches <laughs> yeah they had blood lights overall I think out of 5 I'd give this game a 3 man fuck three the 5 steel system this game's like a 7 like a 6 it's like a 6 out of 10? Yeah. Okay. Because I feel like that... 3 out of 5 is too much, but 2 out of 5 is not enough. 
Because this is this is genuinely like a good game. I like it a lot. I just think it's a little bit overpriced, just because. Like, it's small. My mental scale thing for like price the time. Like in order to make it worth it is like one hour of game time is like a dollar. That's. So yeah. When I buy a sixty dollar game, once I put sixty hours of like time into it, I feel like I've made my money's worth. Yeah, and that's on that's on like first play, isn't it? Yeah, like this is in so general. Like, so like on the second playthrough, it's gonna be even shorter time. I don't know. I like the game a lot, but I don't think it's worth as much as it is. I mean, I'm totally not. I'm not. Uh, uh, what is it? What's the word? I'm not discouraging the people who made the game. Yeah, it, there's obviously the there was obviously some effort in like passion and effort yeah. made into these. Th this the game arts. also has the effort. Sorry to interrupt, but it has this yeah. issue of like this game can't be much longer than it is yeah because if this game was like three hours long like if we were still doing puzzles right now i'd be tired i wouldn't want to do it anymore i'd want to take a break and come back later yeah but like being like eh, about let's say like two hours and ten minutes long yeah i would say like two hours but like give or take like ten minutes depending on you having difficulty on different puzzles right yeah this shit's like barely two hours long but what I feel like is, like, yes, everything is, uh, all the maps are large, or not maps are large, but all the puzzles seem to have a lot of room. But yet, I, I still feel like, I still feel like the castle, like, the overall, like, atmosphere is very compact. Yeah, you, it, do you have a lot of big rooms with nothing in them? That's, yeah. You have long hallways of just, like, here's a crate like like let me show me a window and let me see on the other side just to know like like this isn't just a castle this is somebody's castle it's a castle that's void of like life like there's no even tab though, there's yeah. literally just like two tapestries on the wall like the same creepy painting everywhere yeah like look, like look at this fucking main menu we're supposed to be like at a crypt for someone's like family and shit and it's looks like a bunch of like doors that are like really over the top, like archways. Yeah. And then just empty space. Look at all the empty space. Yeah. And like the the altar's cool. The altar's fine. But like the pillars are nothing. I just wish there was more visually and more gameplay. I would like that. I feel like they could have given us like one or two more puzzles where we were together in the like, same room that would be like kind of like that port kind of like portal yeah because the only one we get is the elevator and you can't even do it if you haven't hit all the light switches yeah so if we had like one more thing to do where we were both like in the same room working together and talking together i feel like that'd be cool yeah stuff like i don't know i'm, I'm still like caught up on the like like for suggestions for the environment because the like i said the like the uh the castle just feels like a castle it's just like a concrete there's castle or like a stone castle there's not there's nothing really else that makes it like a unique castle of its own it doesn't make me think this is the king's castle it just makes me feel like this is a castle they have like this arctic like snowy aesthetic they could have doubled down on that and we could have gone into a room and like the window could have been broken because it's so old and like the room was full of snow yeah anything like that to kind of give it its own unique personality because so much of this mm. game is this dungeon stone Close. hallway so yeah it, so it is missing things in that sense so I'm gonna go with like a six point five. Okay, I'll give it. Yeah, I'll give it a six point five. Maybe, maybe six. Like, like part of the issue is that like it's good, but it's not great. And it's, it's a little short. It doesn't really seem worth like the money. Yeah. But if you like puzzle games, yeah, give this it a is, go. It's, like, there's worse it, things you can get for ten bucks. <laughs> If you like laughing at your friends and getting frustrated at it, then yeah, go for it. If you like seeing your friend run and fail the same maze yeah. puzzle like seven times in a row because he just keeps doing different turns, even though you said ignore those turns and just keep going straight. All the turns look the same to me. 
<laughs> Just ignore the first ones you see! But what about the last one I see? Maybe that one's a trap. <laughs> Don't try to justify your stupidity. It's not fair. <laughs> Better they could have doubled down. Like, you see, like, how, like, the architecture of the little, like, altar thing has, like, a bunch of spikes and diamonds and shit? Yeah. Why didn't they double down and make the whole castle like that? That's true. Make the whole castle really edgy. Everything seems round and soft. Yeah, even when, like, the big gate was, like, crushing me, it's not, like, a big spiky gate. It's just, like, a big wooden gate with, like, some nubs. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Like, oh, okay. It's not, like, super intimidating. It's more just tense because you're going to get squeezed. Yeah. Well... Well, I guess that's our play of We Were Here 2. If you want to see the true ending, I guess just either get the game and do it yourself, or, you know, just look it up on YouTube.